What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. This is your afternoon update with Mullen Automotive. And today I have a huge announcement to tell you all. And that announcement is Mullen has made a new all time low today. 1503, it looks like, maybe 15, maybe I'm off by a little bit. 1503, new all time low. Absolutely disgusting. Don't know what else there is to say. There's a bunch of lawsuits going around right now. I'm in talks with some people right now about really the situation and what is the possibility for shareholders if you're holding shares during certain dates, which I'll probably update you all later on when I find out more information about that. But this is just absolutely unbelievable. I have an update from Brad that I'll just share with you if you're not on Twitter. If you are on Twitter, you probably already saw this. So you can turn off this video right now if you would like, or you can stay tuned. Don't forget to drop a like, would always appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I started adding PayPal to my portfolio. I feel really good about this stock, at least right now. Okay, that might change in the coming months, but as of right now, I like PayPal. I also have Palantir, just so you're all aware. So maybe I'll make more content about that. If you want to learn more about my portfolio and different stocks that I'm holding and trading in and out of, you can join my Patreon for $7 a month. There actually might be a spot for six bucks a month right now that just opened up. But Mullen, we're trading at 1526. Hit lows of 15 on the day. What does that mean for tomorrow? Especially with no news today, is tomorrow we could hit a new all-time low. With this is a falling knife, it just keeps crashing down. There is no bottom as of right now. Um, and the reason for that is because Mullen is doing what Mullen does. And also, if you're new to the channel, there's a possible third reverse stock split that is going to happen in December unless we get a miracle. And at this point, it has to be a miracle. I went ahead and texted Brad this morning. Hey Brad, God afternoon. Good afternoon. But honestly, God, any updates with Mullen class one or class three this week that you can share any deliveries to Randy Man or anything exciting this week? Give me something. Looks like, looks the 10 plus like 48 to 58 starting end of the week through next week. 10 plus, whenever I read it wrong. Gotcha. So he's saying 48 to 58 vehicles starting tomorrow through next week will be delivered. But I wanted to know what video, what vehicles exactly. 48 to 58 delivered starting tomorrow to next week, class one or class three, both. Do you know how many of each? Not exact, but should be close to 50 50. So again, if you split that, let's just say it's 60, 30 class one vans. 30 class three should be delivered to Randy Marin. And remember, Brad has said they have more customers right now than vehicles available. So that is a good thing that they have the customers there. And it does look like Mullen is working. If you saw my last video, they're producing vehicles. There was a bunch of them outside that someone shared on YouTube. I shared their video on my video this morning. So go check that out if you haven't yet. So they're actually working, but the stock price keeps falling. So again, the question that I have at this point now is once they announce news, since Mullen doesn't announce news and I have to investigate and find out all the news before Mullen can even release any piece of news and share it with all of you so that we can do our due diligence. The company doesn't come out and say what's going on. They've said what's been going on, but you know, after a week like this week where we are crashing down every single day, you would think a CEO, a good CEO would come out and say something to his shareholders. But David is quiet and that just shows who he is as a person and how he will always be. He does not care. He's not playing offense. So again, we got to do our research. We got to find out what is going on with this company and how can we get some of our money back. That's why this lawsuit is going on. That's why people are in talks with different lawyers about how to possibly get our money back or some of our money back because a lot of us are actually deep in the hole, especially if you invest a lot of your money. I know I've talked to a lot of people that have a lot of money invested in this stock and um, and it's going to come down to this. So guys, let me know what you're doing down below. Are you buying more? I'm not. Are you selling? I'm not selling either. I'm holding right now, waiting. I will decide what I want to do closer to the 15th because that is going to tell us a lot of what's going to happen. And if we get a miracle that I've been saying, a miracle would be them taking away the third reverse stock split. A miracle would be David coming out playing off and saying, I'm getting the stock freaking up. Okay, I'm the CEO of this company. I'm gonna deliver vehicles. We're gonna buy back shares on this date. But he's not doing that, right? These are miracles that could happen, that I hope happen, but we'll see what happens. 
drop a like. Appreciate you for staying. Enjoy your day. We'll see you tomorrow.